Hi there, I'm Keith Norris, and this is going to be a video to walk you through the X Matrix feature inside KPI Fire. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to take an existing X Matrix, which exists in Excel, and how to plug that into KPI Fire and make it a little bit more dynamic than what you would get with Excel. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the X Matrix, we have some additional resources on our website that will talk you through what an X Matrix is and how to use it. Some organizations like to use the X matrix as a way of visualizing the strategy and showing the dependencies from a top level down to lower level objectives. So in the X matrix, we talk about the bottom or the south. Oftentimes, the compass uh, directions are used as a reference. So the south is actually the highest level objectives. And as you rotate around clockwise, you get that next layer down set of objectives or goals or projects we might call them in KPI fire so yeah, you work your way around from bottom to left or west to top or north and to the right side which oftentimes is listed as the targets to improve or metrics if you're using KPI fire so we're going to use this X matrix right here we're just going to show you how to take this from Excel and plug it into KPI fire all right, so I'm going to start from KPI Fire, and um, as of right now, while I'm recording this video, it is under the dashboards, which is under the, the metrics, the metrics menu button for now. When I come into dashboards, you're going to you're going to see some options. One of those options is an X matrix dashboard. So we're going to click that, and we're going to name this X matrix dashboard. And what I usually recommend is I when when I receive a X matrix from a customer, a lot of times they'll have their tabs labeled. So I'm looking for a label on the tab. This one is just labeled PDL1 and PDL2. So I'm just going to call this my level 1 X matrix. And I'll label the second one level 2. Uh, I'm going to select the visibility. These are the departments in my organization. I've got a pretty small organization here for this demo account. So I want this to be visible to everyone. I'm going to check those boxes and I'm going to save it. So now what I see is the outline, the boxes for an X matrix, and I have no goals, nothing created in this account yet. So you're going to see this from the, from the very start. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the bottom of my X matrix, begin with the big picture in mind, and I'm going to create that first breakthrough objective by clicking the plus button here. I can also click the plus button here. I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to type in my first goal and then I'm going to choose which level I want that created at. I'm going to create it at level one in this case and I'm going to click add new and it's going to show up right there. Now when we're building out the X matrix in KPI Fire our recommendation is to start at the top and build down. So I'm going to click on this goal, open it up and that's going to be like looking at that first level goal and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my second level goal by clicking the actions button and I'm going to add a goal here and I'm going to type in that second level goal and I can set the department for that level goal as well. Okay so now I've got one at the top, one on the side and if I refer back to my X matrix here I need to put this item in the top and what I'm going to do, so I'm going to click on the parent. Again, good thing to think about in KPI Fire is linking from the parent to the child in terms of the goals. So I'm going to put that in as an additional goal here. And I'm going to just link it just like that. That one I'm going to put at my operations level. And I'm going to add it. Okay, so I have added all of those in. Now I'm going to show you how to link some of the metrics as well. So I opened up the goal at the top and I'm going to add a metric to that one. I'm going to add that to my, I'm going to put that in this department there. So now it's going to show up on the side. So you can see it's building my X matrix all the way around. I started at the conceptual top of my hierarchy, the bottom of my X matrix, and I'm building myself around. Now, just to show you another example of how you can use KPI Fire, I'm going to come over here to my goal tile view, and I'm actually going to create my next goal in the tile view. Create my goal here. This is another, uh, I'm going to call it a level one goal. 
So here is the goal I just created. I'm going to open that goal up and I'm going to build out this goal just right here in this other view. So I'm going to build it out right there. So now that parent goal has a child. When I open up that child, I am going to create this level three can either be projects or goals. A lot of times I recommend two levels of goals and then getting into projects, but really it's it's up to you. I'm going to create this as a level three goal and do it just like that. So now you can you can access the goals. There's multiple goal views in KPFR, so you might want to check out the different goal views just to see what you get there. So this goal right here is the one that I created se separate, but it has children goals. So it has additional goals below it. So now I'm going to show you how to navigate back to that X matrix that we had created. So I'm going to go back to my dashboards view and this time I'm going to select it from my menu up here because I, I don't want to create a new one. I just want to edit the existing one. So I'm going to go back to my X matrix view and this time I'm going to add a goal. But in, in this example, I'm going to be adding a goal that is already in the system. So I'm not creating a new goal. I'm adding a new goal. And that is my improved GM and EBITDA. So when I add that goal, it added it to the bottom. Because that goal had children, notice how it added the other goals below it all the way around my X matrix. So if, if you're adding something that is new, you can add it and it'll create it on the X matrix. If you're adding something that has children below it, it will cascade those children onto your X matrix. So you can build your X matrix out pretty quickly if you've already got those uh, objectives in there. A uh, couple things that I want to point out on the X matrix. Once you get your records in the X matrix here, there is some additional linking types that you can configure. So we now have a strong, weak, or no relationship type um, linking. So I can have a strong relationship and a weak relationship between a parent and a child uh, demonstrated on the X matrix. Okay, I'm going to quickly plug in my next goal. And this one I'm going to create the second level by opening it up, creating a new goal below that. And on this one, I'm going to create a project below that one instead of a third level goal. I'm going to add some additional metrics to this goal. And again, whenever I create a new metric, I can associate the department with it. So these are metrics. These are all goals on the bottom goals on the left, and a combination of goals or projects on the top. These buttons right here will toggle to show goals versus projects, to show and hide. Okay, so sometimes when you have these X matrices, you've got a level one X matrix, and then you want to create a level two X matrix. And the level two X matrix, a lot of times that's thought of as like rotating the X matrix. So notice that I've got a, a level one X matrix, which is what we just built. And now I've got a level two where I want to take something that was on the side and I want to put it on the bottom here. So I want to take this improved GM and EBITDA in 2019 by 8%. So we're going to create another X matrix and we're basically going to take this one right here and we're going to put it on the bottom. So let's go through that sequence to create our second X matrix. This time I'm going to find my dashboards. I do want to create a new X matrix this time. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to call this my level two X matrix. I want all of my departments to have visibility to it. And this time, since, uh, since my goals are already in the system, I'm going to click the add button here and I'm going to start typing in my goal name, in this case, improve. And sure enough, here is the one that I want to select. And because that one had sub had a sub goal below it, it's going to show up here on my X matrix. So I'm going to do that for my other second level goal as well, which was uh, grow by building a 50. There we go. So that's the one I want on the bottom, and that's going to cascade down as well. 
All right, so from here, now I'm at like now I'm at my operating level. I might want to create some projects underneath this one. So this goal had to do with hiring sales reps, setting up distributors. So in my example here, what I want to do is I want to create a separate project for um, hire five sales reps. So that's going to be one of my projects. And I want to create a separate project for sign up 30 distributors. So now those projects show up on the top. And because those projects already had some relationship, the, the metrics already had some relationships to my goals, they're showing up here. I can manage the relationship type here with a strong or a weak relationship to each of those. I'm going to call that a strong relationship. And then you'll notice over here on the far right side, it's going to show the, the person that is identified as the team leader of this project. So this is a relationship to this project at the top. So if I want to assign this sign up 30 distributors to another member of my team, let's say I'm going to assign this to Jerry, and I make Jerry the leader. Now when I go back and look at that X matrix, which we can locate it here from the dashboards, save the save views menu for my L2. Now I've got Abe and Jerry both owning one of those projects. So this way your X matrix views will be always selectable. They're, they're static in the relationship between the records that are on the X matrix. Um, this is a little bit of a change from some things we used to do in the past where it used to be dynamic based on searches. You'll notice that the, um, the, the filters are not uh, available on this page because the X matrix are now built in a, in a static fashion. So if you have additional questions about the X matrix, how to use it, uh, how KPI Fire might be useful in your organization, you can check out some of our other videos or you can contact us at our uh, contact information published on our website. And good luck with KPI Fire and executing your strategy.